is available in high definition. Tonight on Fake Sports Center, we've got Montreal versus Vancouver and what people are calling the fakest game of the year. It's fake tastic. Also, we've got all the latest updates on the latest labor talks. Yeah, it's that depressing. And finally, is there any truth to the rumor that there's going to be an NHL Royal Rumble? We'll look into that and more on Fake Sports Center. Gary, you can't lock me out. No, no get, Gary, 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 no, I'm not making any money off of it. Gary, get, what? How am I gonna give you fifty percent? of... Oh, I can't give you fifty percent of nothing, can I, Gary? Oh, fine, Gary, I'll see you in court. Damn, Batman. Sorry, folks. Uh, just taking care of some business. So tonight's show, we're back. As you may have noticed, a bit of a break there, uh, just to recharge the batteries. We're back and better than ever. Uh, why are we better than ever? Because. We have M&M toys and slinkies. So we are slinkier than ever. Ah, look at that. Magic. Anyways, we've got some great highlights for you guys for the Montreal game. Before we get to that, of course, we have an update on the Labor Talks. What's happening in the Labor Talks? Nothing. There's your update. Also, NHL Royal Rumble, we mentioned it in the intro. What does that mean? What it means is, due to the power of video games, I'm going to create an NHL Royal Rumble and invite 40 hockey players to join. We're going to let the computer simulate it, and we're going to see who is the toughest guy out there. We're going to see who could win this Rumble. We could see people like Char in there. We could see old guys like Ronning in there. We could see anybody. We don't know yet. The roster is being finalized, but keep an eye out on Twitter for that. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one, and I don't get excited about things that often. I almost smiled there. That's how excited I was. See? Awesome. Anyways, I know you guys are waiting for highlights. That's what you need from me, so... Today we're just going to go over the Montreal highlights because it was a pretty intense game. And then next sportscast we'll have the uh, Ducks LA Kings uh, road trip. So without further ado, let's get there! With the game just underway, Hamus wants to set the physical tone. Boom! Hammer time! Laying the hammer down. Hits him with the hammer. Hits him with the hammer. I already said, oh, I got nothing left. Still, nice hit from Hamus on that one. Here's something you don't see every day. Scott Gomez doing something in the offensive zone. Sets up the Canadians. Boom. Great save from Luongo. Air Cole getting nothing on that one. Somehow blaming it all on Hammerlick. Young budding power for it. Zach Cassian looks to pull off a Bertuzzi here. Comes in hard. Looking more like Brad Isbister there. Falls down. Still a 0-0 game. The game's still 0-0 halfway through the first. Montreal looks to correct that. They get to the point. Michael Blunder shoots. Scores! Michael, don't pretend to know who I am, Blunden. Guess the goal by Luongo. Luongo looking kind of shaky on that one. Let's go to the replay and see. Maybe, maybe he was screen. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt here. We're going to see the puck come to the point. He's going to wind up and shoot. And that's just a terrible goal. I'm sorry, buddy. Come on, Luongo. you got to get that one. Look at this. Puck goes in. Maybe that Montreal Ford breathed on him funny? I don't know. Either way, one nothing Montreal. Montreal smelling blood in the water. They want to feast on some more Canucks meat. That sounds kind of gross still. Great save, Longo. Montreal keeping the puck in the zone. This small team dominating the Canucks physically. That's embarrassing. They work it back to the point. Shoot blocked by Patch Ready Shoots. Saved by Luongo. Come on, Canucks, wake up. What is this? I know it's fake hockey, but I'm getting real frustrated here, guys. Later in the first period, Manny Maholtra shoots the puck in so hard it breaks his stick. Montreal in shock over so much brute strength. They just throw the puck through the slot. Gets intercepted. Full Patty. Great save from Price. Full Patty goes to his office in the dumpster corners. Throws it back to the point. Shot blocked. Back to Volpatti. Back to Ballard. He shoots. He's going back to the press box with a terrible shot. Still 1-0. With Vancouver in desperate need of offense, they turn to Raymond and Ebbett, so you know this is going to go well. Raymond shoots off the net behind Ebbett. Great save from Price. Yes, son of a beep. Let's see what happened here. Andrew Ebbett skates away in shame. As you can see, Ebbett gets the puck. Can't lift it. you got to put that top shelf, son. Put it where Mama keeps the cookies and the marijuana, right in the back behind the tin, so the cops don't find it. Come on, man. Canuck's best line this period was Raymond, Hanson, and Abbott, which, you know, normally is not a good thing, but they were getting chances, so credit to them for that. Raymond takes a shot, can't beat him. Raymond gets the puck, doesn't fall down, throws it to the point. Puck sitting there, Hanson kick. What? Yannick Hanson taken out by, I believe that's Chris Campoli. I'm not sure. I'm normally used to seeing Campoli turn over the puck to Burroughs. I can't tell. Let's see the replay. Yep, Campoli. Using Price like a stool, shoves Hansen over top of it. That's not cool, man. Not cool. Kids, what have I been telling you this entire season? If there's one thing you can't do in fake hockey, it's touch Chris Higgins' abs. 
That's what Lars Eller does here. Look at the replay. He comes in, touches the abs. That's an automatic two in fake hockey. Come on, you know better than that. And the award for most awkward glove save of the year goes to Roberto Luongo. Congratulations, Roberto. That was a terrible looking save. Vancouver's lethal power play trying to do some damage. They're going to work the puck to the point. Ether shoots, saved by Price. Rebound, Cassian hits the post. Canucks keep it in, though. They're going to keep trying to score here. Back to the point. Ether shoots just wide. Cassian again trying to go to Cassassin mode. He spins it out. Oh, shoots behind Price. No one can get it. Carry Price. Little in fact, he keeps beer in his water bottle during games. It's true, I looked up on Wikipedia. Despite Vancouver's best efforts, they can't get a goal. But Eric Cole, he's going to spin around the net. He shoots scores. Eric Cole. I guess the good news is Luongo didn't go in his stomach there. He just sat in his ass, which is, I guess, an improvement. Cole celebrates going down the bench. Let's see the replay. Bieksa just kind of watched him, and then Bieksa stopped skating. That's cool. That's cool, man. No, you rest. You rest. You had, you had a tough game. You just... You sit there and let Cole score. <sighs> BX said you're driving me to drink, man. Are you proud of yourself, Kevin? You drove me to drink some beer, buddy. That's what you did. This is on you, man. God. Sweet, sweet, tasty beer. 2 nothing, Montreal. Higgins driving in hard. He's going to see Lapierre. Lapierre, shoot... He shot over the net, didn't he? Time for another drink. Like, why can't you just, just score the puck, man? Like, like, why didn't you guys win in 2011? Like, just score, man! God. God, I hate Brad Marchand. You guys suck. Scores! What? David Booth! During my drinking binge, David Booth gets a goal, sobers me up. Let's see what happened here. Montreal in shock. You shouldn't be because David Booth, he's a hunter. He's going to snipe you. Look at what happens here. Good work from Higgins. Shot on net. Price can't handle it. Booth puts it in. Suck on that, Price. David Booth makes it a 2-1 game. There might be hope yet. Canucks getting momentum. Peppermint Patty runs over Michael. Seriously, nobody knows who I am. London takes a shot net. Drives hard. Puck behind Price. Can't get to it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My friend Eric Bardon, who is perhaps the world's biggest Canucks fan... He's really stoked about this game right now because he knows momentum's going Vancouver's way. Thanks to a platonic penalty, the Canucks get a power play. They look to make it work. Puck rolling behind Price. Did he get that one? That was pretty close. Let's look at a replay here. Look at this high-tech NBC broadcast replay I'm going to pull out here. This is not a video game. I, I can't stress that enough. That glowing yellow circle that's merely a reflection from lights. Look at this. The puck going in. Going in. It's going. Price just grabs it before the line. So close. Wait, that, no, that didn't go in. Ignore the magnets that caused that puck to move back and forth. Look at that. High price cameras here, folks, for these replays. Good stuff. Still 2 1. The Canucks getting blanked in their power play. Montreal gets their own chance. Markov shoots, scores. A little bit of a deke there. Montreal have, have the power play because David Booth tweeted a picture of, of a dead big bird. Caused quite a kerfuffle in the land of Sesame Street. David Booth killing anything that moves lately. Let's see what happened here, though. Markov who somehow has his knees intact in fake land. He's going to get the puck. He's going to shimmy. He's going to shake. He's going to pop a top corner. At that point, it's kind of showing off. I mean, one deke, fine, but the three deke, the triple deke, kind of a dick move, but whatever. 3-1 Montreal. Full command of this game again. Uh, this game's over. You know what, folks? I'm going to go for a bathroom break. You can watch the game yourself. I'll be back. Be solid enough defensively to hold it. They don't need any more goals. Nice soft dump to the other side. Picks it up. In front. Back to the point. Makes that shot. Score! And they answer in a hurry. You're at that point. You're looking to get... Wait, what? What? This score? What? What? Are you kidding me? I missed a goal. I hate it when that happens. Oh, great goal from Ballard, I guess. Was it Ballard? Who scored? Can you tell me who scored? Is it the replay? Can what happened? Damn it! Well, still, I mean, 3-2 three, two, three, two Montreal. Canucks coming back into this one. It happens every time. With that bathroom break goal, the Canucks are looking to tie this one up. Mason Raymond, he's going to skate and shoots wide. Puck comes around the boards of the heads and he throws it on net. Puck off the back of the boards. Raymond scores! Mason Raymond! Go into the net. Fancy that. Mason, training wheels Raymond. Second goal of the year. You can't trade that guy now. Look at this. 
Puck bounces weirdly. A weird bounce that doesn't involve the stanchion. I guess that's okay. Johnny in the spot. Mason Raymond. 3-3 game. What's going on here? Got ourselves a shootout. Just in case you're wondering, Roberto Luongo does indeed make a save. There it is. Great save, Luongo. This game's 3-3, heading into the third period. I don't know what's going to happen here. What the heck? Higgins trying to get a goal before the period ends. Shoot, save by Price. Oh, what's going on here? This game's too unpredictable. I think I need another drink. Jesus. Let's see what happens in the third period. All right, folks, as you know, Jay Bowman hooks the show up with a lot of sponsors. He's gone from Playboy to Erotica Films to more Erotica Films. It's, 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 it's a natural progression. It's a lot of Erotica. Yeah. But he's moved on, and we have a new sponsor tonight. Bowman, tell the folks who you brought on. I didn't know I had to have a new sponsor. Every show we need a sponsor. Sure. Large Mento still? Um, tonight's Fake Sports Center is brought to you by... This masking tape. Masking tape. If you need stuff masked with tape, you can do a lot worse than this. That doesn't really sell it. Go harder, sell harder. Masking, masking tape. tape. Yes. You're just saying yes louder. <laughs> 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 I want to thank my partner Bowman for stopping by quickly for that masking tape spot. That was a good quality advertising right there. All right, three three games. Surely both sides are going to settle down. We're going to get ourselves a defensive battle here. Too many points in the line to go crazy in this one. Period starts. Vancouver's going to slowly, methodically give the puck away to Montreal. Montreal moves in. They shoot an actual save from a goaltender. That's nice to see. Still 3-3 game. Future defense. Look at that. Bieksa involved again. Come on, man. Patch ready. Getting mocked by Bros for not scoring. Look at this. Bieksa falling down. Perhaps Bieksa drinking out of Price's water bottle. I don't know what's going on here. Luckily, Luongo with a huge Darth Vader glove save. Still a 3-3 tie. The defensive battle continues. Henrik Sedin's going to take the puck in the zone. Stops. Skates again. That's that's just trickery. Comes into the corner. Shakes off a check. It's going to come out front. Throws it to the point. Kevin Beckett shoots. Scores! I believe David Booth got a piece of that one. That guy, like I said, he's a sniper. doesn't matter what it is. He is going to get a piece of it. Let's watch the replay here. David Booth. Fist bumping or trying to attack his teammates. I never know which one. Look at this. Shot comes off. I think that changed direction. You know what? We need the NBC special cameras. That's right, folks. This is not a video game. These are just special cameras from NBC. That golden halo is nothing more than light reflection. The puck coming off the stick. David Booth just touches it to bank it down into the net. What a tip from Booth. Great goal. 4-3 Canucks. Tip. Goal. Just under the blocker. God, these NBC cameras are amazing. Look at that. If only they could make the puck glow blue and, like, when you shot the puck really hard, it burst into flames and left a trail behind it. That'd be awesome. It'd make it so much easier to track the puck. <sighs> NBC will never do that. That would take someone like Fox to create that. Those geniuses over there. Oh, well. 4-3. Go Canucks. Canucks take a penalty. Lapier, two minutes for being too sexy, I guess. Look at that. Rest. Really upset with him for looking better than he does. Gives him two minutes. Throws him in the ugly box. Montreal's going to take this power play. They're going to win the point. Win the point. Doesn't even make sense. They are going to try and win the draw. They don't. Montreal. Huge hit. Shoot scores. I am still a little bit drunk from that earlier beer, apparently. Let's try and break this zone down and see what happened here. Keith Ballard cursing aloud there. That's not good, Keith. Fake shame for Lapierre. Coming out of the bench. He knows he screwed up. Lars Eller. He of the touching of Chris Higgins' abs. Huge hit in Bieksa. Bieksa. Another Pop-Tart hit. See, what did I tell you guys? Pop-Tart hits are ruining the league. Kevin Bieksa popping in the air. I'm assuming he broke at least three ribs in that play. 4-4 four, four tie. Later in the third, Vancouver getting the makeup call. A little bit of a dive there from Lapierre. That's realism at its finest. Scott Gomez. For shame, buddy. Canucks go to the power play where they've been lethal this year. They're going to try and win the draw. Henrik Sedin wins the draw. That was the highlight that I have for you folks. Wait, Montreal. What? No, this isn't supposed to be happening. Montreal the breakaway. Montreal! Stoned by Adler? Alex Adler, knowing that Luongo can't handle any sort of shots right now, makes the huge stop for the Canucks. Still a 4-4 game. Vancouver's power play needs to get in the board. Has it. Two on two the other way. Takes a shot. Shot scores! And that's a power play goal! The good news for Scott Gomez is at least he was involved in a scoring play. The bad news, it was for the other team. Zach Cassian snipes it. He's been doing that all year from that wing. Good news if you're a Canucks fan. 
Well, not that good, because we have no idea if that's actually going to happen in the real NHL, but let's just pretend. Great goal. 5-4 Canucks. Can you have a makeup call and a makeup call? Because that's just what happens here. Lapierre, again, two minutes for not knowing how to throw a proper body check. That's terrible. Montreal goes to the power play. Maybe someone can actually kill a penalty. That'd be nice. They're going to take the draw here and try and win it back to the point, which they don't. Shoots wide. Luongo falling down awkwardly. I have no idea what happened there. At this point, I was glad he managed to get back to his feet in time. Vancouver dumps the puck out. I think they're going to kill his penalty off. Holy smokes, Vancouver kills a penalty. Alex Bro, so excited. He's going to give the puck to Price to congratulate him on that wonder. It scores! Alex Burrows was merely trying to give the puck to Price to show him no hard feelings about killing that penalty. Accidentally puts it in the net. 6-4 game. Surely this one's over. Vancouver coming ahead. You don't want to get involved in a snipe show with these guys because have you, have you seen the guns these boys have? That sounded terrible as well. I'm sorry. Still, Alex Burrow snipes it. That makes it 6-4. Good night, Montreal. Good game. Just about two minutes left in the game. All Vancouver does, all they need to do is to hold on. Pat is going to move in. Passes. They shoot scores. What? Pliskanic gets the goal. I called him Pliskanic earlier. Now I'm calling Pliskanic. Deal with it. Luongo is kind of embarrassed. I think he sold himself on that one. Let's see what happened here. Pacioretty throws it to the middle. That's some sweet D from Vancouver. They leave him alone in the slot. No wonder it's 6-5 now. Kevin Bieksa shockingly on the ice for that one as well. Way to go, Kevin. That's some, some awesome D tonight, buddy. Luckily, the Canucks still have a one-goal lead. They can shut this game down. They're good at this sort of thing. Montreal moves in. What do they think? Whoa, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That is the most embarrassing thing of all time. Scott Gomez scores. Even in fake hockey, that should never happen. Look at that. He only has one goal in the air. What happened here? Scott Gomez scores. Does a little dance. Tie game. What the heck? 6-6 six, six game. Can this game get any crazier? The answer, yes, it can. And we're closing in on the end of the third. Outstanding finish. Burroughs is putting the body on out in front. right there that's following up on your own shot he did and it pays off for the goal i don't know how you cover all of the cage opening but this goalie just got beat inside the post alex burrows coming through he's not slaying a dragon more like squishing a fly but still seven six i am tired i'm gonna let the boys at espn take this one home folks then win it in the final minute now look i know it's not over but these guys now have the game where they wanted it To Gomez. Here's a breakaway. Scores! And this game is tied with only so Seriously, they uh they tied it up. That's uh And it wasn't Bex's fault? Uh, that's awesome. Montreal tying this gong show of a game up. Oh my god, let I don't even know what to go. I ah, I'm just done folks. This is too much for me. How do they not keep that puck out of the net? Luongo. Terrible. Price, terrible. You're all terrible. 7-7. Seven, seven. We're going to overtime. Might as well get to bed here. Come on. It's going overtime. I'm going to assume the first shot wins, so I'm just going to let this one play out, folks. Enjoy. Off man tonight, so he's out there now. And we're underway here in the overtime period looking for a winner. They'll keep the offense rolling here. He finds that loose puck. To Hamus. Hard shot. Scores, and that's going to end this one in overtime. And that's it. Vancouver's victory, and it's in OT. And you know what? The special players get the ice time in OT. Hey, look at that. First shot wins. I was right. Vancouver, thankfully, wins this game, preventing it from going to a shootout in which I'm assuming the game would never end because every single shot would go in, which would lead to eventually fans taking, you know, participating in the shootout as they would get to go as they'd run through the entire roster. Maybe eventually Mike Gills would come to the ice and show off his first round draft pick skills. 
Regardless, Vancouver finally gets a win. I can't even break this game down. I, I still don't know what happened in this one. Insanity. Uh, this is a classic game in that it's so crazy, we'll always remember it. Still, it had its highlights. Let's uh, check out the three stars, which, as always, are brought to you by John Garrett. It's chili powder and peanut butter banana sandwich. It sounds horrifying, but it's actually pretty good. Let's go to those three stars. NPC cameras, come on. Cue them up. Here we go. Slowly getting there. Look at that. Look at this interactive camera work from NBC. I am impressed again. Three stars. Dan Hamhuse, Eric Cole, David Booth. Certainly not the goaltenders, that's for sure. Great game. Vancouver gets yet another win. I am tired, folks. It's time for bed. All right, folks. What a game. That was insanity. All right. Uh, I believe the next fake sports center will be on Monday, so you guys can uh, enjoy the weekend, take some time off, and then relax. Uh, I don't want to overload you with too much hockey. I know there's a lot of hockey going on right now out there, so we'll try and save that for you. Uh, the NHL Royal Rumble, which will happen, I'm going to make a big deal out of it because i got nothing else to do. Uh, it's uh, If you have any ideas for who you want to be in the NHL Royal Rumble, any fast, uh, past favorite players of yours, uh, tweet it at me at the stanchion. Uh, we'll make this happen. And I believe that's about it. Wait, no. I know what you're all waiting for. How did Bowman die tonight? Well, let's find out.